2016. Dan, the big question this morning, is Hillary Clinton stepping down? Yeah, this is uh, some kind of speculation that started uh, on a variety of news organizations. Some, some folks are jumping on it. Fox News was jumping on it. It's at least uh, something to talk about. And they're saying that the uh, New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson might be taking her place as Secretary of State. Well, she makes new political plans, and that's one of the things that we're going to be talking with John Dadian about here this morning, our political analyst. Good morning, John. Good morning, Dan. And how was your holiday? Very, very good, thank you. Good, good. All right, let's jump off on this and say, where did this come from? Two words for you, trial balloon. <laughs> I, I think uh, it really is just a minor story on the wires, and they are trying to blow this up bigger than it is. So I think they're trying to throw speculation. Clearly, Bill Richardson is eminently qualified, without a doubt. And if Secretary of State uh, Clinton ever steps aside, he would be the logical choice. And I guess one of the reasons is because Richardson's over in South Korea trying to put that mess together and prevent World War III. Because, you know, if these guys go off, it's going to be crazy, right? So he's over there on a diplomatic mission. And there's been speculation that Hillary Clinton would maybe run for president against Barack Obama or they get rid of Biden and put her on the number two spot. Well, and don't forget when I said he's qualified, he's former U.N. ambassador also, sure. held several posts, et cetera, current governor, former congressman. He's got, you know, uh, impeccable credentials, et cetera. Now, as far as Secretary Clinton, she has said kind of a sherman statement that she won't be running for president. But then again, she's made statements in the past that haven't been exactly true. So we'll see. Politician would never lie. Right. How do you know when a politician's lying? They're moving their lips. That's the old saying. All right, let's talk about uh, some of the hits, runs, and errors from uh, 2010, and then we'll look forward to 2011 because it's going to be interesting in California. What do you think? Well, clearly in 2010, the biggest, uh, the biggest political issue was the governor's race. You know, it affects our state, et cetera. And it was just phenomenal. Jerry Brown ran a great campaign. Meg Whitman ran a terrible. Brown campaign was brilliant. They have one of the best commercials that I've ever seen. I think it's going to go down the textbooks for years to come to study. And that was the Twins commercial where they sh showed her mimicking Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then she ran the worst commercial I've ever seen where she said, she looked in the camera and she said to the voters, I know you don't like either one of us. Why would her consultant ever let her say that? <laughs> well, you know, and interesting, the, the money factor of that was just phenomenal. More money spent in this governor's race than the history of any campaign in the United States of America and yet Jerry Brown beats her by something like 12 points. When you spend more money than Michael Bloomberg, you know you're spending real money. But statistically and historically, self-funded candidates don't win. The vast majority lose. Why is that? Is there a resentment factor to say, oh, you're trying to buy this office? There's a combination of factors. That certainly is part of it. But the other part is the oldest rule in the book, people like America for people to earn the stripes. And the way most, if you look, most political careers, they go up the ladder. They go from council to mayor to governor to senate to president, etc. People do not like this jumping and saying, I can do this, when they have no record of accomplishment. Yeah, that's right. All right, now let's look forward. And you're talking about Jerry Brown. He's going to be sworn in uh, in about a week. And, sworn in this Monday. Yeah, okay, next Monday. And this is going to be, what are you predicting? I mean, how is this going to be? Is this a new Jerry Brown? Is this a, a more conservative Jerry Brown? Is, this, is, is he going to you know, drive an old Chevy and live in his own house and, like he did the last time? Of course I'll give you a political answer, and the answer is yes and no. <laughs> uh, the aspects of the old Jerry Brown that we're going to see is at the inaugural on Monday, he's going to be serving hot dogs afterwards. That is the vintage Jerry Brown. But I wouldn't say it's a more conservative Jerry Brown, but a lot of the political platforms that he's taken would be conservative, such as no taxes without the vote of the people. And I think he's honestly going to surprise a lot of people by doing things such as standing up to the unions, which is his political base, reforming the pension, which a lot of people don't think a Democrat could do. I think you're going to see a lot of surprises in the years to come, next four years, from Governor Brown. You think Jerry Brown is going to stand up to the unions? I do, absolutely. Because and, these are the people who put the butter on his bread. And they've already made comments. Some of the leaders of the statewide unions have said, you know, we might be uh, regretting what we wish for. Absolutely. Yeah, and I know you're in, interested in local politics as well. And we've got a couple of new faces on the city council. Speaking of pensions, do you think we're going to be able to look the unions in the face here locally and try and do something about our pension crisis? Probably not, but you do have people, like it's interesting, you see Kevin Faulkner, who's a potential mayoral candidate, working with the current mayor to, to uh, reform it, especially for new employees. So that's interesting. Here's how the new council might change things, not necessarily as far as the pension and union, but this issue of new city hall. The dynamics have changed, and now there might be a majority that might not necessarily say that we need a public vote. That's a big change. Mm. All right. John Dady, and thank you so much, and Happy New Year to you. I'm sure we'll be seeing you. Good to see you, Dan. Over the coming years and months and whatnot, so thanks for coming in.